Hello, I am Tara from livingonadime.com. Today, I'm sharing freezer tips out of my Dining on a Dime cookbook. You can get my cookbook in the description below. Over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you keep it simple and safe. These are five freezer tips that I use all the time to feed my family for $5 or less for dinner. Still keep it simple and safe. Even though I'm chronically ill, I don't spend more than about 15 minutes cooking dinner every night. So, tip number one, brown hamburger. I will get 10 pounds of hamburger and cook it all up in a Dutch oven at once. Cook it all up, let it cool, drain, let it cool, then I package it in little freezer bags, and that way I have dinner already cooked if I wanna make tacos, if I want to make a stew, hamburger stew, if I want to make uh, cheeseburger rolls or sloppy joes, all those recipes are in here in Dining on a Dime. Then I just add my sauces, defrost, add my sauces, and dinner is ready in less than 15 minutes. The next thing is slow cook a roast and do the same thing. So I will, I will buy an extra large roast for my family. I'll slow cook it all day long, we'll have it for dinner, then I'll shred it up, and you can see my video where I showed how I did that on my slow cook roast video. Just shred it up, put it in little zip. I just do little freezer bags because we don't, we don't, you don't need that much meat. But I'll just pull out one or two freezer bags depending on how many of us are eating, and then I can make barbecue beef. I can make beef and noodles. I could make um, beef stroganoff. All that's ready super quick my meats already cooked less than 15 minutes the next one is when you're making a casserole if it's a casserole that will freeze instead of making one make two now I'm not a big proponent of big freezer cooking I don't like doing it to me it's too much energy that I don't have and what if the power goes out and I lose all that food you know I would not be a happy camper so but what I do do is if I make a casserole, I will make two or three instead of just one. You've already got all the ingredients out, just get it made up, line your pans with, with um, aluminum foil, put your casserole in there, freeze it, then if you need your pan, you can put your casserole in a big freezer bag and still use your pan and just have it in the foil. Then take it out and just set it in your pan, put it in to cook, add an extra 10 to 15 minutes because it's frozen, to your cooking time after you take it out of the freezer. But if you do that, it will, you're cooking two dinners at once and you're already done. The next one, freeze things like um, bananas, those kind, like blueberries and those kinds of things. If you, if you get them in your garden, get them, frozen them up in serving size packages. This way you can just pull out one package and you don't have to worry about like for us i don't know what happens but all of the fruit ends up being in a big block no matter how hard i try i freeze it individually it ends up in a hard block so what i do is i freeze it in individual contain individual bags do the same thing with bananas as they're going um dark or they're getting darker slice them all up put them in a freezer bag then as you have one smoothie you can just pull out that one banana and you're not having to deal with this huge bag of bananas. Um, number four, cook chicken, pork chops, lasagna, and meatloaf and freeze. Then when you need a meal, all you have to do is reheat it. So what I'll do is I'll make two lasagnas, I'll cut it in quarter, or cut it in half because we only eat a half a lasagna at once. So I will have four meals, I wrap the other lasagnas in foil, then when it's time for another meal, I'll just pop it in the oven, add an extra 10 minutes cooking time, warm it up, good to go. The same is true with pork chops. I'll cook a whole bunch of pork chops or grill a bunch of pork chops, throw them in the freezer. I'll just defrost them, put them in the oven, warm it up, and I got dinner. Uh, meatloaf. Make meatloaf or meatballs. Do double the recipe again. I will make three three meatloafs usually at a time, or I'll make a double batch of meatballs, then they're all ready to go. I can just pull them out and throw them in the oven. Now, last but not least, 
If you're freezing things like roast and hamburger and those kinds of things, and let's say you forgot to pull it out, or chicken. If you forgot to pull it out and you're home and it's 5.30 and dinner needs to be done and you don't can't get it to frost, here's how I quickly defrost it because I'm the queen of not remembering to pull out dinner. So what I do is I get a bowl about this big, fill it with warm water, set my meat in there, let it defrost, then I can peel it out of the package and throw it in the microwave and get it to frost. So just get a big bowl of water, just enough, keep it in there just long enough for the package to be able to peel it off and then I throw it in the freezer. So I hope these five freezer tips will help you get dinner on the table quicker and cheaper and help you keep it simple and safe. These are in our Dining on a Dime cookbook. It's in the description below. If you'd like to buy it, you can visit us at livingonadime.com. Please give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and we'll see you guys next time.